Hey guys, and welcome to another Monkey Pixels tutorial. I'm so motivated doing YouTube lately that I'm even considering making this a weekly thing. Maybe we have a tutorial Thursday or a quick tip Wednesday, something among those lines that I'm actually committed to put out some kind of quick tip, tutorial, workflow, overview video once a week. So what do you guys think about that? Is that something you would be interested in? Then leave a comment in the comment section below because I have so many ideas and so many small tutorials like this one that I actually want to share with you. But without further ado, my name is Damien Cooper and welcome to Monkey Pixel. We've got some fresh new young talent doing some things that I know you haven't heard before. One, two, three, listen. So this is going to be a quick one, but it can actually save you a lot of time if you utilize this tool and you don't know about. So within Final Cut Pro 10, you can actually record a voiceover right over your footage. My usual workflow would be that I open up GarageBand or maybe even QuickTime or some other recording app and then record a voiceover and import it into Final Cut and overlay it to the footage that I want to use. But there are some occasions that it actually is pretty neat to have this feature right in Final Cut itself. And the cool thing about this is you can basically use any microphone you want. You can use a dedicated USB microphone or if you want you can use your internal microphone from your MacBook Pro or even use a shotgun microphone like the Rode VideoMic NTG and I'm going to do a full review on this microphone pretty soon and I can tell you right now, spoiler alert, it's really really great because it's so versatile and this is one option. You can just hook it up to your Mac. I'm not 100% sure about Windows but with a Mac you just hook it up via USB and you can use it as a computer microphone as well as an on-camera microphone if you want to. So for this recording I'm using this microphone, I have it plugged into my computer and we can use this to record voiceovers in Final Cut. But first let me actually show you how the function works. So obviously we are in Final Cut Pro 10 and all you need to do is go to window and then click on record voiceover and that opens another small window which is pretty self-explanatory. You can control the input gain, you can give it a name and you can choose your microphone. Like I already said, if you want to have a USB microphone, the Rode that I'm using right now or any other microphone that is currently hooked up to your computer. Next off, we can choose if you want to monitor our audio via headphones or if you want to have a countdown, which comes in pretty handy. And like I said, pretty much everything in here is pretty self-explanatory. So like I already mentioned, this is a pretty cool tool to have in several occasions. One would be that you have an ad that you just want to quickly overlay a voice over to and you don't want to go through all the steps in different softwares. This video is sponsored by Monkey Pixels LUTs and Presets. Currently on sale, 25% off only on our website. Go shop it before they're out. So this would obviously be one of the use cases. Another use case that is pretty cool is if you're doing Foley for a video you already shot because you messed up the on location audio again. So we for example didn't mess up the audio but we actually went into planning doing the Foley at home. So we shot a music video in LA and we wanted to synchronize the footsteps later and that is kind of tricky if you can't really see the video while recording. So it's pretty cool to just hook up a USB microphone and then directly record into Final Cut Pro 10 and do the Foley while you can actually see the footage you're synchronizing your audio to. Another obvious use case would be to synchronize a short film or a feature film in a different language afterwards, which is obviously done while you see the actors' faces and you can do it directly into Final Cut. Was machst du da? Ich dachte nur... Aber was hast du nur gedacht? Ähm, ich mag Schokolade. Du kriegst keine Schokolade. Aber du kriegst keine Schokolade. Okay. 
So of course you can do all of this in an external app, but then you have to go through the process of importing it into Final Cut. And this feature comes in pretty handy if you want to save time. And that's pretty much all this feature is. And I hope you liked this video and maybe you didn't know the feature exists and you will use it in the future. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more and leave the comment if you like a regular tutorial Thursday or whatever the name will be if you're interested in that and I hope to see you on the next one.